Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another AutoCAD architecture video. I'm using 2019 but it's the uh, same thing as 2020. I have 2020 at home so there really are no changes. Um, so what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about how, you know, once you have all of this design done, how would you go about printing or plotting these uh, elevations and floor plans and all this work that you've done? You know, how do you go to print this out? Okay, so there's two different things that you can do here. Um, you know, you can do a regular print and you can do a window selection, which would basically just be like a control P. And, you know, you would select uh, monochrome because you would want everything uh, to just kind of print out in like a grayscale. Uh, you would select your printer. You know, you'd probably just do like an 8.5 by 11 if this is just something you're doing at home. And then you would do a window selection. And you would say like, okay, I want to print that. And I want to center the plot. And then you'd hit OK. All right. And you'd see by the preview, you know, or, or even in here, how big it's going to make that view on the piece of paper. Okay. Actually, this is an 18 by 24. So if I went back to an 8.5 by 11, um, you could see it would print about full page on there. All right. That's, uh, that's not exactly the way that you want to do it. Um, you know, you could do landscape as well. But the, the real way to do this would be to set up what's called uh, layouts. Okay. I call them sheets, um, but, they're, but they're layouts. So right now we're in model space. Everything, every video I've ever done so far in this uh, playlist has always been in model space. But layout is basically just a way to set up your paper and get that to have your different views um, and your different, I guess, layouts. That way when you print them, they're all on the same sheet um, and you may have multiple sheets. Okay. So here's how you would go ahead and do that. If you go down here and you didn't already have layout one, you would hit the plus and that would give you a layout. Okay. You right click on that. You hit rename. We're going to call this first one elevations and then we're going to hit enter. Okay. Now what you do is, whoops, you right click on elevations and you go to page setup manager. In there, you'll see that it's already set up as an eight and a half by 11. But if you're printing from a plotter, um, which is a very large printer, you might want to actually make this uh, an architecture D size paper. So we're going to go ahead and select on elevations. We're going to hit modify. Don't worry about this message. It's because I have a uh, printer at home that's not the right size. Um, you're going to drop this down and you're going to look for arch D. Okay, so we've got, oops, sorry, not D. We want, we want, yeah, we want arch D. D. Sorry, that was ANSI D. We want Arch D and we want it to be 36 by 24. That's generally the size uh, of a blueprint that you would print out. And you can see that that is a landscape copy. Okay. And you hit OK. So now we hit close. So this is a 36 by 24 inch sheet. Okay. Or layout. Um, and then inside of that, you have this box that came with it. And what that box is, is its own viewport. Okay. So if I were to stretch this box just a little bit bigger, the way this works is if I double click inside, I'm now in the model space, so I'm zooming out and trying to find my stuff, okay? So let's just say that this was one of the elevations that I wanted to do. I can now double click out of that space, and that gives me my view that's set up in there. And I, I'm back to like being able to do command line and tools within this drawing, um, or, or on this sheet, I should say, and you're not no longer editing what's going on in here. If you single click on the outside part and you go down here, you'll be able to adjust the scale. So we do need to have a scale for this drawing, which is generally on this size paper, one fourth of an inch equals one foot. You'll notice that it kind of kicks forward a little bit. It's on the right scale. I'm going to double click back in and try to get some of this stuff centered the way that I want. I don't want to see that front word there. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to hang this down, something like that. And then I'm going to double click out. I'm going to click this and just kind of cut off that word up there. Okay. So that's my front elevation. Okay. I can now take this and just single click on the outside and do a control C, control V, and I'll go ahead and put another one in there. And we're going to make this one a little bit smaller. We're going to double click and we may have to size down some things here, but this would be your right elevation or we'd have to go with a smaller scale if they're not going to fit on one sheet. Or if you want, you could do like a front and left on one sheet and then you can do the right and rear on another. Okay. So double click out single click. This is probably going to be too big. So maybe we will go with one eighth of an inch. One eighth equals one foot. Double click, double click out, single click. We'll go to one eighth here. So now we can size this down quite a bit. Whoops. 
and that will allow us to do our different views on the same sheet. Um, doesn't matter what size these boxes are because those boxes are not going to print, okay? The grid is also not going to print. Alright, so we've got two elevations like this. We could then copy again. Slap them on there. You obviously don't want to be within the dotted line around the outside because it's going to get cut off by the printer. Double click back in. I can do my rear elevation. I would probably just get rid of those words on the um, uh, on the actual model space. Double click out. That way it's just not showing there. But you guys generally get the idea of, of that's how you would set up your viewports and get your different elevations all in one sheet. Um, now, another thing is if I was going to do another layout here and I right click and go to rename, I'm going to call these floor plans. Okay, so on that sheet, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right, oops, sorry. I'm going to right click on floor plans. I'm going to go to page setup manager. I'm going to hit modify and I'm going to change my paper to be arch D 36 by 24. Same thing. Um, you're going to, let's see, we just hit OK here. That should be fine. Hit close. Now we have another box that we can deal with. Stretch that box to be about, let's see, how many floor plans do I have on this one? I think I have three. Stretch it, double click, zoom out, and it's the same idea. Now the only problem is, is that we have so many different things on top of each other in these layouts that you don't want to print all of those things. If this was just the floor plans, we don't want to see the electric, we don't want to see the structure, okay, because you're going to have different sheets for all of those. You're going to have an electrical plan, electrical plan two, you're going to have structure, structure two, you're going to have all these different um, sheets or, or, you know, um, sorry, layouts down at the bottom, okay? So here's how you would go about doing that. If you're double clicked in, you don't want to do lay off and just start clicking things that you don't want, like electric and like, you know, the yellow text or whatever you don't want. Um, because what's going to happen is, let me zoom back out and let me double click out, hit escape first, double click out. You'll see that on your other pages now that it started turning off some of those things. So you can't do, you can't do that and it will also turn it off in your model space. So now all that stuff is gone on all of these views. What we want to do is we want to do a layer freeze instead. So let me back up a couple steps here. until everything's back, okay, something like that. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click in, you're gonna type lay freeze, okay, lay FRZ. You're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to viewports, and you're gonna go to VP freeze. And now anything that you click on, let's say this is not gonna be an electrical plan, I can click off the electrical plan. I could turn off structure and structure text. Um, I could turn off the room labels. I can turn off the, well, I would actually want that, sorry. Um, for, for my floor plan. Um, I could turn off dimensions. You know, I could turn off anything I want in here, but it's not really turning them off. It's actually freezing them. So hit escape, you know, zoom back out, get it set where you want. Maybe set it up where, double click out, click. Maybe set it up where you're, you've got your right scale. If we wanted to do one fourth or if we wanted to do, you know, one eighth or whatever it is. And then boom, you have a floor plan set up. Okay. Um, so just to show you, going back to model space, it didn't turn off any of those things that I turned off. Uh, what it did was it just froze it on that layer or in that viewport, and you'll have to do that for each one unless I take this one and I copy it over and I make another one. That's going to have the exact same thing. Actually, no, it looks, it looks like it does not. Sorry. I must be thinking of something else. Um, so you'll have to do the same thing. You'll have to double click in here and do lay freeze. You'll do, again, one more time, settings viewports, VP freeze, and then click off whatever you want. This is a different floor plan. This is the second floor. So I'd still click off the same things. And that's the general idea um, of what I wanted to show is just how to show up your, you know, how to set up your line, your layouts, how to have, um, you know, how to freeze different layers and not have them show on certain prints. But also, you know, in the next couple layouts there, you would have electric and everything else would get turned off except for walls, windows, doors, and the electric plan. And, you know, that makes it a lot, lot simpler than trying to change and shut off layers and then print what you need, then turn the layers back on, then turn the ones you want off and, and print those, and it just becomes a little bit of a mess, okay? So this is what you would end up with after you print all of these or plot these to a printer or a plotter, um, you know, that you would print out and then you would hand to a foreman and he would have this on job site, all right? 
So that's pretty much it. I wanted to show that, and I hope that this helps somebody set up their layouts. This is something that when I was first learning AutoCAD um, a long time ago, I couldn't find this on the internet, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I, you know, I obviously we know now because I work at an architecture firm, and this is the way that we do it. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and hopefully this helped you. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks a lot. Get some more.